Kate Middleton's heartbreaking admission about Charlotte and George unveiled. Kate Middleton made a heartbreaking admission about her children, Charlotte and George, during a special episode of Giovanna Fletcher's popular parenting podcast. Last week, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge marked their 10th wedding anniversary by releasing a video on their social media accounts. Portraying an idyllic picture of family life, the highly stylized clip is set against the sound of gentle guitar strings, and shows the royals with their three children, seven-year-old Prince George, five-year-old Princess Charlotte and three-year-old Prince Louis, walking across a beach, running through the garden and toasting marshmallows over an open fire. Squeals of laughter, loving glances, distant waves and a cameo by the Cambridge's pet pooch all feed into the narrative. The couple wrote in a message alongside the video, thank you to everyone for the kind messages on our wedding anniversary. We are enormously grateful for the 10 years of support we have received in our lives as a family. W and C. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, Kate and William have actually been able to spend more time with their children. While the future queen and king do not have a 9-to-5 job, their role sees them traveling up and down the country for official visits. They are also expected to carry out royal tours overseas. In February last year, Kate sat down with Giovanna Fletcher to discuss parenting, Prince William, George, Charlotte and Louis. The Duchess of Cambridge made a heartbreaking admission about her children, during the special episode of Giovanna's popular parenting podcast, Happy Mum, Happy Baby. Just like other mums, the Duchess said leaving her trio at home is a constant challenge, especially when they ask her why she can't stay with them. Asked if she feels mum guilt, she said, yes absolutely, and anyone who doesn't as a mother is actually lying. Yep, all the time. Even this morning, coming to the nursery visit here, George and Charlotte were like mummy how could you possibly not be dropping us off as school this morning? It's a constant challenge, you hear it time after time from mums, even mums who aren't necessarily working and aren't pulled in the directions of having to juggle work life and family life. You're always sort of questioning your own decisions and your own judgments and things like that, and I think that starts from the moment you have a baby. She went on to explain how she deals with the guilt, relaying something a very wise man told her. Kate added, the more people you have around your children who are safe and loving and caring, the better. So yeah, it was a real weight off my shoulders that actually it's not totally my responsibility to do everything, because you know we all have good days, bad days, and you can dilute that with others who aren't on that particular day struggling. I think it makes such a difference for your child, keeping them as constant and happy as possible. In the chat, Kate also opened up about the moment she held George for the first time.
She said, amazing, amazing. It is extraordinary as I've said. How can the human body do that? It is utterly extraordinary actually. And he was very sweet. And also sort of relieved that he was a happy, healthy boy. She also gave a heartwarming description of William's reaction to becoming a dad. She added, seeing, you know your husband, William, and things like that. Seeing the pure joy of his face it was really special.